How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping and today we're going to talk about tracking non-billable time in QuickBooks. We're going to go over how to use the item list to track non-billable time and why I do it that way. There are other ways. Um, track non-billable time in the timesheet. So we're going to show you how to enter this in the timesheet and link it and then how to report on non-billable time. So let's pop over to our sample company here, Vandalay Industries, and first show you how to use the item list. So if you go to lists along the top and drop down the item list, you can see that I've gone and entered a couple of uh, different items here, non-billable time as a parent um, item. And then under it, I've added a couple of different non-billable time items. Um, you can make this whatever you want, you know. Typical ones are networking and blogging, um, you know, how, how are you bringing in business, what stuff that you can't um, link to a particular customer and bill them for. Um, so we've got a few items here, blogging, coffee shop, networking, talking with Jerry. So think about the non-billable items you want to track and set them up. If you come into any of these, you can see that these, these particular ones I've set up as a sub-item of the parent non-billable time. Next, we're going to show you on the timesheet how to enter these. So if we select an employee, let's say Lloyd Braun here, um, and we can, under service item, you can see all of your different non-billable items. So let's just say blogging, he did a couple hours here and there. And let's say he had a little bit of coffee shop time. And maybe some talking with Jerry. So what you do is just enter some hours, um, uncheck the billable, and you're going to break it down by employee and by, by non-billable item. So what this is going to allow you to do is run reports that show you all the non-billable time, how it's spent, and uh, you can make assessments as to what's working, what's not, where you need to spend more time or less. The first report I'm going to show you is under reports, and you come down to jobs, time, and mileage. Let's do the time by name. And what that's going to do is show you all of the hours that each employee is putting in. And you can see that he's putting in, Art Evandelay is putting in some time with the Kruger smoothing for matches. Um, we've got pen and publishing. That's the exporting of diapers, okay? So if we come down here to non, non no job assign, that's all your non-billable time. So you can see where our Vandalay has been spending his time. We can also look at a summary of this by running time by item. So if we go back to time and go time by item, this is now going to show you where have we really been spending our time. This much going on exporting of diapers, this much importing of matches. We've got blogging, coffee shop, networking. So we can see where we've been spending our time. We can drill into that and see who's been doing all the blogging, who's been doing the majority of it. You know, you can modify this and sort by um, different filters. There's different ways to sort this report. You can sort it by, you know, by name, which is going to show you each person. So just a quick way, there are other ways to, to track your non-billable time, but that's the way that I particularly like. If you have any questions on this or anything else dealing with QuickBooks or bookkeeping, feel free to reach out to us in one of these various ways. You guys have a good day.